Have you ever wondered how to make images like these? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do in Photoshop and you can pretty much use it anywhere you like. Here we go. Hey everybody, Claudio here. Thank you again for stopping by and checking out this channel. If this is your first time, consider subscribing to the channel. I share things on photography, video, and graphic design, and all sorts of tech reviews. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to show you how you can create really cool graphics like these. What I like about these is you can pretty much create different shapes and place your images in there. And I'll show you how to do that easily within Photoshop. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here I have Photoshop and what I'm going to do is load this picture that I took a while back. I was doing some uh, double exposure shots. So I'm going to use this to create kind of a circle PNG graphic. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And here it is. The first thing I want to do within Photoshop is remove that lock just in case the image is locked. And I'm going to add a second layer. I'm going to move that layer below my image. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is create a shape. In this case, I'm going to use a circle. You can pretty much use any type of shape. I'm going to click on the circle tool here, basically the ellipse tool. And I'm going to hold down the shift button to create a perfect circle here. And start from this corner, drag it out. And you can get as close to the edge as you want. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there and click back on the layer. So you can't see the circle because it's the second layer. And then the next thing what I'm going to do is click on the move tool here. And then I'm going to hold the option key and kind of drag it in between the two layers. You can see there it kind of has like a little drop down arrow. I'm going to click there and boom, just like that, I've created my image within a circle. And if you notice kind of that outside area of the circle, you have like kind of those uh, blank pixels and that's what you want. You can further do some adjustments to your picture within here. As long as you click on the correct layer, you can click and drag out, increase the size, move it around. That looks good to me. Next thing I'm going to do is go to file and then export and save. Usually I use save for web, the legacy version. I like this. This is just my preference, but it lets me kind of customize the options here. So you want to make sure and choose PNG 24 and then make sure that your transparency is turned on. If it's turned off, it's not going to work. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Pretty much leave everything else the way it is. My size is 1080 by 1080. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Click save and then call this profile I already have it here I'm gonna do profile 2 and then save and just like that I have my image created within a circle and the cool thing about it is now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that image I'm going to open up my Adobe Spark post which I have set up here I created this graphic believe and actually be live I have to correct that there I before E except that for C there we go. Now it's correct. Believe in yourself. And then what I'm going to do here is click on add photo, upload a photo here, look for my profile and everything should work out nicely. And wait a few seconds here or not. And boom, there is my image. So the cool thing about this is go ahead and make that smaller. I can use that as kind of my watermark as my logo for all of my content that I create, drop it in using it here in Adobe Spark Post. You can drop it in another Photoshop file. You can pretty much use it anywhere that you can use a PNG graphic. Again, what I like about it is kind of sets your image apart from everything else on the page. And uh, right here, I'm able to kind of layer it on top. So that's how easy it is to create a PNG graphic, in this case, a picture of myself within a circle. You can pretty much use any shape. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you learned something new, if this was helpful, please let me know by adding in the comments section below. 
If you like the video, give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the icon right over there. And don't forget to turn on the notifications. And thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this channel. Be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.